Sorry, Madam Chair, I didn't hear you. Well, oh, here we go. My, my, my. Here we go again. Now, this, this amendment is extremely bad. I think it's a little bizarre also. I'll get to that point. I was actually surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised, to hear that my uh, friend on the other side of the aisle uh, is interested in public opinion and long-standing policies. The public is overwhelmingly for access to legal abortion. And you know what else was long-standing? Roe v. Wade. Uh-oh. Anyway, uh, back on this amendment, uh, because really it, it's not enough for, for my colleagues on the other side of the aisle that the Supreme Court just set back this country years and has threatening the life of millions of Americans by dismantling access to abortion in this country. So my colleagues on the other side of the aisle think it's just fine to do that around the world by inserting the harmful Helms Amendment and also uh, reinstating the global gag rule, uh, which will effectively prohibit safe abortion and health care services for poor and vulnerable women in low-income countries. Now, uh, and, uh, and also, and I'm going to get to this later, also it's going to, it, it, it forces providers of health care services to choose between providing their patients services and providing them with accurate uh, information. Now, I don't usually like to get into the weeds, but just to tell you how bizarre this amendment is, I'm going to go into the weeds. So if you have your book, your bill, and you go to page 29, and you go to line 7, it reads, this is our bill, that the information provided about the use of condoms and modern contraceptives as parts of projects or, or activities that are funded from amounts appropriated by this act shall be medically accurate and sh shall include the public health benefits and failure rates of such use. Well, this amendment takes out the word modern contraceptives. In other words, let's go back to what do you call it, the horse and the buggies. Uh, because uh, may maybe you're not aware, but there's all sorts of contraceptions, modern, medically uh, proven contraceptions, other than condoms, really? You only want to give information around the world about condoms? What about contraceptive pills, implants, the patch, vaginal rings, IUDs, uh, and other, well, there's a lot, a lot of others, but let's just bring in the horse and the buggies. We're just going to rely on the condoms under this amendment. But there, there is more. There's more to this because you want to bring back that old gag rule, the old gag rule. That's, that's the rule. It's, it is what it is. It, 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 it gags. It's like putting a muzzle, a gag on health care providers. They can't give their patients correct information because if they do, they lose their funding. Now, uh, George Bush had a gag rule, and a 2011 study uh, found that in rural Ghana, Ghana alone, there was a 12% increase in pregnancies, leading to an additional 200,000 abortions, and uh, between 500,000 and 750,000 additional unplanned births. There's that gag rule. Uh, the Obama administration rescinded it, and then Mr. Trump not only reinstated the gag rule, he put it on steroids, so that his administration expanded the rule to apply to all global health assistance. And it increased the amount of money affected from 600 million to 12 billion. Oh my goodness. And this covered work unrelated to family planning and included projects related to AIDS, HIV, nutrition, malaria, water, and sanitation, tuberculosis, and other infectious disease. So, uh, just some examples. It caused a provider in Uganda to end a program to 6,000 adolescents seeking protection from unwanted pregnancy. 
the Fam Family Health Options Kenya, the country's largest sexual and reproductive health organization, was forced to eliminate free mobile outreach services that served approximately 76,000 women and closed three clinics. And, uh, uh, another provider in Mozambique was forced to close 18 youth-friendly health centers uh, and 72 of their mobile clinics. Really, what, what, is, what do we want to do? We want the world to become sicker, sicker. May I remind you uh, that many diseases start in other parts of the world and find themselves here. Well, anyway, in summary, here's what I respectfully suggest. If you want a peaceful, more prosperous world, women must be in control of their reproductive health, their lives, and their futures, and we must make sure that people have accurate medical information all over this world. Again, this amendment is extremely bad, and I urge its defeat. Ms. Bonnie Watson Coleman. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair.